Welcome back to my Houston Texans franchise rebuild here on Madden 22. In today's video, we will be wrapping up this regular season. Last season, we went 5-12 and 12 in our first full year running the team. And this year, we have to win two of our last three games to beat that or one of these next three to match it. So, that should be interesting. And then we will watch the final regular season of the game. And then the next video will obviously be the awards and the offseason. But anyway, let's go ahead and get to simulating. We do not start out on a good note as we lose the Jaguars 28 to 16. Spitzer goes 27 of 42, 306 yards, one touchdown and one interception. Rushing wise, Miles Sanders 12 for 40 and a score. Kind of a downgrade from the last time we watched him where he ran for over 100 yards. And receiving wise, Robert Tunyon caught nine passes for 130 yards. Did they just not cover him? DJ Chark 5 for 59, John Ross 6 for 58. Miles Sanders 5 for 40, and Brian Tyson only 2 for 19. Defensively, Zach Cunningham got an interception, and Malik Morgan got a sack. On the other side of the ball, Trevor Lawrence goes 27 of 39, 278 yards, 2 touchdowns, and a pick. Rushing-wise, Travis Etienne went 7 for 44, and James Robinson went 13 for 30 and 2 scores. Receiving-wise, LaVisca Chenault went 10 for 88, Max Williams went 6 for 68, and then Vaughn Bozeman caught 5 passes for 2 touchdowns. Brian Tyson does have an upgrade. We will just upgrade his deep threat ability and see what that gives him. A few attributes, plus one to catch in traffic, catching, change of direction, plus two to deep route, plus one to medium route, and plus one to spin move. And then Josh Favors, the middle linebacker that got thrust into the starting position thanks to Bobby Wagner retiring in the middle of the year. Uh, we'll go ahead and upgrade his field general and get him plus one awareness, plus one tackle, and plus two to zone. Okay, so we have no hope of finishing with a better record than last year as we lose another game, this one to the Saints, 21 to 13. Spitzer goes 18 of 40, 297 yards and one touchdown. Rushing wise, Miles Sanders, six carries for 14 yards, Spitzer four for 11. What the hell were we doing on offense? Receiving wise, DJ Chark caught six for 109 and Floyd Bryant caught one for 48 and a touchdown and then John Ross caught four for 60. Brian Tyson held a one catch for 29 yards. The Saints quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo goes 26 of 40, 296 yards and three touchdowns. Rushing wise, Alvin Kamara went 17 for 82. And receiving wise, Brandon Miller went seven for 99. Kendrick Huntington went three for 69 in a score. And Carson Gillespie went five for 49 in a score. So they just have like a receiving core of players in their first and second year and they gashed us for three touchdowns like that. All right, before we jump into this game, let's take a look at their depth chart. First, they have Jameis Winston starting at quarterback over Zach Wilson. At running back, they have Alexander Madison, fullback Michael Burton, wide receiver Elijah Moore, Julian Chambers, a rookie out of Oregon, and Corey Davis, who has fallen to a 79 overall. Tight end Will Disley, left tackle Makai Becton, left guard Elijah Vera Tucker, center Connor McGovern, Right guard David DeCastro, right tackle Chuma Egu Ed whatever. Left end John Franklin Myers, right end Forrest Ellington. Defensive tackle Quinnen Williams and Jamie Barnett. I assume Quinnen Williams will make his acquaintances with Joe Spitzer quite a bit. Left outside linebacker CJ Mosley, middle linebacker Josie Jewell. Is, is that Jose Jewell? I don't really know how to say his name. Right outside linebacker Zier Barnard. Cornerback Bryce Hall, Darren Ballantyne, and Rashad, or Rashad Tull. Free safety Ashton Davis, and strong safety Marcus May. I really hope in the next few years, I don't have much hope for it, for it being EA, but I really hope in the next few years they get a little bit better with the logic of not giving up on Zach Wilson after essentially his rookie year, because I think that's how long Jameis has been here is since my first full season. I think he was in the off season. I think the Jets brought him in to replace Zach Wilson, like immediately. All right, let's see how the defense does against Jameis Winston and this Jets offense on first and 10 from the 25-yard line. Winston and Shotgun will send a man in motion, take the snap, and will hand off to Madison up the middle, and Madison gets a gain of about six. All right, now second and four. Winston in Shotgun, Madison in the backfield. He will take the snap, and to the outside, that is caught and immediately is tackled by Desmond King, but a nine-yard gain and a first down. So that sets up first and 10 yet again for the Jets from the 40 yard line this time. Winston will take the snap out of shotgun again. And Winston dances around, throws under pressure, caught by Madison, and he will be met by 51 and immediately brought down. 51 is Malik Morgan. I had to look at the list for that one. Second and nine. 
Jamison shotgun. He will take the snap and go down the middle of the field that is caught and a first down yet again for the Jets. Secondary may be my biggest need on this defense. Now first and 10 going under center. He takes the snap to the outside and Madison will be wrapped up immediately on the play by Zach Cunningham and Malik Morgan. No, sorry, that's Jacob Martin and Malik Morgan. Second and 13 from the 49 yard line. Jameis takes the snap and will dump that to the outside to Madison and he's off to the races and tripped up and then hit on the play by Justin Reed. We'll set up third down for the Jets. Come on defense, a chance for you to get off the field here. He takes the snap and goes over the middle, a wide open tight end and he is brought down inside the 25 yard line. All right, first and 10 from the 23 now. Jameis takes the snap and it's a play action under pressure and sacked on the play by 27, which is Rodney McLeod. Sets up second and 16 from the 29 yard line. Jameis in shotgun. He will take the snap. Jameis dancing around, throws on the run that is caught. He has the first down inside the 10, five, and finally tripped up at the two yard line. Jameis is six of six on this drive. First and goal. He's going under center, handed into the fullback up the middle, and they are into the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. That was a horrible defensive drive from us. All right, let's see if the offense can do any better than the defense. On first and 10, Spitzer comes out under center from the 25-yard line. He will do a play action to Miles Sanders and then throw right back to Sanders, and Sanders has the first down, gain of 11. All right, now first and 10. In shotgun, only one in the backfield is Joe Spitzer. From the 36-yard line, he takes the snap. Spitzer looking to go downfield and does, and that is caught by Tyson, but he's out of bounds. Second and 10, Spitzer in shotgun again. He will take the snap, looking to throw. It's a screen pass out to Jalen Samuels this time, and he will throw a man off and get tackled after a gain of five. So that leads to a third and five for this Texans offense from the 41-yard line. Spitzer will take the snap, looking to maybe have a quick pass, and he goes out to Miles Sanders, and Sanders will not get the first down. I thought he had a chance to break that tackle. Sets up fourth and two. Let's see if this defense does any better against Jameis. On first and ten, Jameis in shotgun. Takes the snap, hands off to Madison, and he is met immediately by Sheldon Richardson. No, that is actually Dylan on the run, and he loses one. Second and 11, Winston comes out in shotgun. He will take the snap. Sand in the pocket. He's going to go downfield. That is caught and immediately brought down, but I think he's close to the marker if he doesn't have it. That would lead to a third in inches, so he's just shy of it. Winston comes out in pistol. I imagine this is going to go right to Madison. Snap, handoff to Madison up the middle, and Madison will get the first down before getting brought down by Rodney McLeod. All right, first and 10. Jameis out of shotgun takes the snap, and Jameis under pressure. He sack, fumbles the ball. It's recovered by Malik Morgan, and he will run into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. And I think that is the first defensive touchdown we've seen of this season, and it's by our first-round pick from our first year. All right, we're going to see how the Jets do in simulation now. On first and 10, that is a six-yard pass to Greg Dillon. Second and four, a six-yard rush from Greg Dillon. So first and 10, five yards to Moore. Second and five, knocked away from Brand or knocked away by Brandon Graham. And on third and nine, he's sacked by Jonathan Greenard. All right, let's see how Spitzer does. From the 26-yard line, 2-11 to go here in the first quarter. And they're going to come out and run the ball with Sanders. And Miles Sanders breaks a tackle, but then is brought down in the backfield. Loss of one on his first carry today. Second and 11. Spencer takes the snap and goes down the middle of the field to a wide open receiver. No one was within five yards of DJ Chark and a first down. All right, Spencer going back under center on first and 10. He takes the snap and it's a quick pass and out of the hands of Robert Tunyon. I don't know where you thought you could fit that pass, but would lead to second and 10. Spitzer comes back out in shotgun. Sanders in the backfield. Spitzer takes the snap, and it's a play action, and then throw over the middle to DJ Chark, who has the first down and brought down at the 41-yard line. First and 10. Spitzer out of shotgun. Goes to the outside. That's caught by Floyd Bryant, and he's brought down after a few yards. That would set up a second and four. 30 seconds to go here in the first quarter. The offense is moving so far. Spencer out of shotgun, and it's a handoff to Sanders. Sanders will not get the blocking he needs. 62 probably could have thrown a better block there. That would lead to third and four, probably the last play of the first quarter if they snap it. And they will. Spencer takes the snap out of shotgun. Last play of the first quarter. Finds Robert Tunyon. He's inside the 20, down to the 10, and forced out of bounds at the 8-yard line. 
First and goal out of shotgun from the eight-yard line to start the second quarter. Hand off to Miles Sanders. Sanders to the outside and into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. We take a 14-7 lead pending the extra point. All right, let's see how the Jets do on offense now. First and 10, 14 yards to Elijah Moore. On the next first and 10, thrown away. Second and 10, six-yard rush from Jameis. And on third and four, that is Russell Gage for or Russell Gage for eight yards. First and 10, three yards from, from Madison. Cannot talk right now. And complete pass on second down. So on third and seven, he hits Russell Gage for 13. So first and 10, he finds Madison for 10. And let's go ahead and jump in on this drive. All right, Jameis in shotgun on second and inches. That ball really looks like it's on the first down marker, so it should be a first down, but whatever. Pump fake from Jameis, and now he goes over the middle to a wide open tight end, and I believe that's Will Disley down inside the 10-yard line. So first and goal, Jameis in shotgun. He takes the snap, hands off up the middle, and he will have good blocking all the way down to the one-yard line. Sets up second and goal. Jameis going under center. I believe that is still Dylan in the backfield. No, that's Madison. He takes the snap but goes to the end zone. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jets, from Elijah Moore. All right. Texans come back out 14-14 to on first and 10. Spitzer goes under center. And it's a play action to Miles Sanders. Maybe looking deep downfield. But he will find a man open. That is Brian Tyson who shakes off a man and brought down near the 40-yard line. And the Jets have an injury on the play. So on the very next play, it is first and 10. Spitzer and shotgun takes the snap, handoff to Miles Sanders, and Sanders gets caught up in the, I think, right at the line of scrimmage. I was going to say the backfield, but that's no gain, not a loss. Would lead to second and 10. Spitzer going under center, and a handoff to Miles Sanders, and Sanders will get a couple yards on that play, leading to third and seven. So trying to keep the drive alive, Spitzer comes back out in shotgun. Going to need to throw downfield a little bit here, Spitzer. He takes the snap and goes to the outside. That is dropped by Brian Tyson, but he had really good coverage on the play. That would lead to a fourth and seven and a punt. So the Jets will get the ball back, and A.J. Cole punts it away. And are where are they going to field this? They're going to field this at about the 15. All right, Winston comes back out on first and 10 from the 16-yard line. He will take the snap. Winston stands in the pocket and under pressure and sacked on the play by Sheldon Richardson back at the 8-yard line. That leads to second and 18. Winston in shotgun. He will take the snap. Winston staying in his own end zone under pressure. Needs to get rid of it and just throws it away downfield. No, he actually tried to hit a target there, but it falls incomplete. So that leads to third and 18 for the Jets from the eight-yard line. Winston in shotgun again. Takes the snap. Once again, staying in his own end zone under pressure. That'll be a sack and a safety by Jonathan Greenard, and the Texans will get the ball back. Now Spitzer comes back out with a two-point lead here with 5.44 to go in the half. In shotgun, he will take the snap. I want to add more to this lead, obviously. Sanders up the middle, and Sanders are going to gain about nine. Second and inches. Spitzer going under center. He will take the snap, give it to Sanders again, up the middle, and he will fumble the ball, and it's recovered by the Jets at the 50-yard line. I thought there was a chance we got that, but nope, the Jets scoop it back up. So we get a safety, they force a fumble. Let's see how the defense responds to that. First and 10. Jameis under center. Handoff to Madison up the middle. And Alexander Madison will get about seven yards on that play. Second and three. Jameis comes back out. He's got Madison and a couple fullbacks in the backfield. And it's a read option. He will keep it himself. And he will get a couple yards on the play before getting brought down by uh, Grant Delpit, I believe. Third and one. Jameis going under center. Four and a half minutes to go in the half. Jameis takes the snap. And Jameis under pressure. He will be sacked on the play by Jonathan Greenard, who has his third sack today. All right, Sanders, let's not fumble this one. Texans come back out at the eight-yard line. Spitzer goes under center. And we'll go right back to, no, that's actually Jalen Samuels. And he gets three yards on the play. Second and seven. Spitzer going back under center. Jalen Samuels, I believe, still in the backfield here. And it'll be a handoff to Samuels. Samuels has okay blocking. And Samuels breaking some tackles and then brought down after about a six-yard gain. But there is a flag. And I assume it is coming back. Holding yep, how could I guess? And it was holding on Titus Howard, our left guard. So, second and 12 from the five-yard line. Spitzer comes out in shotgun. This is risky. He takes a snap, staying in his own end zone. Goes to the outside, caught by Samuels. And Samuels will get some of the yardage back. And that will lead to a third and four. So Spitzer comes out in shotgun from the 14-yard line. About two and a half minutes to go here in the half. Spitzer takes the snap. 
And goes over the middle. That is caught on the play by John Ross down at the 31-yard line. All right, first and 10. Spitzer in shotgun here from the 31-yard line. And he gives it to Jalen Samuels. I don't know if Sanders is injured or if he's been benched, but either way, Samuels comes in with a gain of three to lead to second and seven. All right, second and seven. Spitzer in shotgun from the 34-yard line. He takes the snap. Goes to the outside and misses Brian Tyson, who was running completely wide open. That would lead to a third and seven. And I can tell you from right here, no one is covering the slot receiver, which I believe is John Ross. And Spitzer is going downfield on a deep ball. That's caught by Brian Tyson, and he is off to the races and gone. Touchdown, Houston. Our rookie receiver makes one final big play in the last game of the regular season. I feel like we're watching a lot of this game, but with 1.45 to go in the half and a nine-point game, I want to see if the defense can hold them here. Winston, a screen pass, and that bounces off a of lineman. Good start for us. A minute 37 to go in the half. It is third and 10. If we can stop them here, we'll get the ball back and plenty of time to score again. Hand off to Madison up the middle, and he will be brought down for about a gain of two. So Texans are going to get the ball back. All right, a minute 24 to go. From the 29-yard line, we have two timeouts. Please don't tell me we're just going to run the ball. We are not. Spitzer is going to come out and be aggressive and throw it to Miles Sanders, who is back in the game and gets a gain of 10. Not sure if he came back in earlier and I just didn't notice it, but it is now first and 10 with a minute to go because EA has no idea how to program clock management here. That will lead to second and nine, 40 seconds to go here on the half. He takes the snap out of shotgun. Spitzer looking to go downfield and will find John Ross, who needs to get out of bounds, breaks a tackle and brought down at the 50. And see right there, I'll include it in the video. We had 30 seconds to go. We allowed 11 seconds to run off the clock. I think we had 32 seconds. We allowed 11 to run off the clock before we called our final timeout. It doesn't make any sense, and EA has to improve upon that shit. Now first and 10, and he's going over the middle. That is caught again by Miles Sanders from the 43, but now we need to run hurry up offense, and we have no time. See, that's just horrible clock management, and I don't know why EA can't get that kind of shit right. That is basic stuff in football. Let's see how the first possession of the second half goes. We start at the 22-yard line. Spitzer going under center. Sanders still in the backfield. And they go right to Sanders, who has to stiff arm a man immediately and still gets nothing on the play. Take that back. They gave him a credit of two yards. So now that's second and eight. Spitzer going under center. Sanders still in the backfield here. Spitzer will take the snap and will go downfield. That is going to be caught by Brian Tyson, who breaks a tackle and is still going. Off to the race is 20, 15, 10, 5. Brian Tyson makes another big play in the final regular season game. Where was this shit all season? Just a ridiculous play for him to make the catch and then break like two tackles, stay in bounds, and then run down the sideline. Great play from the rookie. And we are going for two to try to make it 31 to 14. Spitzer will take the snap. Please just dump that to Robert Tunyon. Never mind. And then go to the outside. Dropped by uh, Brian Tyson. He tried to force that one into the rookie. All right, finally back to some simulation. Let's see what the Jets can do on first and 10. Hits Julian Chambers for five. Second and five, hits Disley for five. So now on third and one, he runs it himself for five. First and 10, sacked by Sheldon Richardson for a loss of four. Second and 14, hits Elijah Moore for 29. Sets up first and 10, and then he throws it away. Second and 10, Elijah Moore for nine. Third and one, Julian Chambers for five. On first and 10, negative two. And on 2nd and 12, a 10-yard penalty against the offense. So that sets up 2nd and 22. He hits Russell Gage for 8. All right, so on 3rd and 14, and a 15-point game, Jameis Winston in shotgun here. We'll take the snap from the 25-yard line. Winston under pressure and will be sacked and fumbles the ball again, but this time it's recovered by the Jets back at the 40-yard line. Sets up a 4th and 29. And they're just going to punt. They're not even trying the long field goal or trying to go for it or anything. They will just punt this ball away, and Houston will take over at the 23-yard line. Let's see how we do through simulation. First and 10, dropped by DJ Shark. Second and 10, Robert Tunyon for 7. Third and 3, Robert Tunyon for 21. First and 10, John Ross for 11. On first and 10 again, 4 yards from Spitzer. Second and 6, he throws it away. Let's see how this goes. Third and 6 from the 33-yard line, Spitzer in shotgun. Spitzer will take the snap, stand in the pocket, and he's going downfield. That will be caught on the play, but I think John, or DJ Chark was well out of bounds there. 
Sets up fourth and six, so I'm assuming we'll bring on the field goal unit. Daniel Carlson comes up for a 50-yard field goal try to make it 32-14. to And the kick is away, and that should be good. All right, first and ten. Five-yard penalty against Jonathan Greenard. So first and five, he hits Julian Chambers for five. First and ten, a four-yard rush from Madison. Second and six, three yards lost from Madison. And then on third and nine, he throws it away. So on fourth and nine, they will punt the ball away. Let's see how our offense does. First and ten, seven yards from Sanders. Second and three, five-yard penalty against the defense. First and ten, four yards from Sanders. Second and six, throws it away. Third and six, ten-yard penalty against the offense. So that will take us to the fourth quarter. And also a fourth and four. They're just not going to show what happened there. So on fourth and four, we will punt it away. We jump into the Jets' drive, and now it is second and seven. Three yards to Will Disley. So third and four. Julian Chambers for 13. First and 10. Greg Dillon for 13. First and 10. And he hits Julian Chambers for a 39-yard touchdown. Texans take back over with an 11-point lead and nine minutes to go in the game. Just need to play smart here. Jamie Barnett sacked for a loss of three. Second and 13. Throws it away. Third and 13. Knocked away by Marcus May. I really don't like the way this is setting up. And we punt the ball back. So on first and 10, it's a four-yard gain from Madison. Second and six. Russell Gage, 15. First and 10, knocked away by Jason Verrett. Second and 10, throws it away. Third and 10, Elijah Moore for 16. First and 10, six yards from Jameis. Second and four, seven yards from Disley. First and 10, seven yards to Chambers. Second and three, negative two from Dylan. Third and five, Julian Chambers for 28 yards. First and goal, five yard rush from Madison. So from the four yard line on second and goal, it's a one yard gain. All right, we're going to see if we can keep the Jets out of the end zone here. Third and goal from the three-yard line. Jameis in shotgun, takes the snap, hands off to Madison, and he meets Malik Morgan and gets nothing on the play. So that will lead to a field goal try from the three-yard line. So it's going to be about a 20-yard try here to make it a one-score game. And with four minutes to go, it is 24-32. to 32. We're going to see if Spitzer can hold on to this lead. 3.56 to go in the game. It is first and 10. Spitzer takes the snap out of shotgun. I don't know why we're throwing the ball here, but Spitzer's going to air this one out deep. And does he have a man? That is caught by DJ Shark inside the 20. What the hell are we doing? But it worked. All right, now we're chewing clock. I guess we just want to take a shot play at the beginning there. Second and six. Spitzer in shotgun. Imagine this going right back to Sanders. No, he's going to throw it. And he will throw to the outside. That is caught by Sanders and into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. Okay, that is one way to respond to try to seal the game. All right, now the Jets kind of need a miracle. 2.35 to go, down by 15. Jameis comes out in shotgun. He will take the snap. Jameis drops back under pressure from Brandon Graham, and he's just going to air this one deep. He's got a man, and that is knocked away by, I believe, Bryce Callahan. So that'll lead to second and 10. Jameis comes out once again in shotgun. Probably just going to be throwing the ball aggressively the rest of this game. Winston takes the snap. Under pressure on the play, and that will be Malik Morgan getting him back at the 11-yard line. I don't even know how many sacks we have today, but it is a ton. Sets up third and 24, about two minutes to go in the game. Is he going to snap this? Yes, he will. So this will be the last play before the two-minute warning. Goes downfield and incomplete. A minute 59 to go in the game. It is fourth and 24 for the Jets. Jameis in shotgun will take the snap. And he will go to the outside. That is caught, and he is going to be brought down well short of the marker. Texans will take over at the 16. All right, first and 10. Spitzer going under center. Hands off to Miles Sanders up the middle. And Miles Sanders inside the 5 and brought down at the 3-yard line. All right, second and goal. Spitzer in shotgun from the 4-yard line. A minute 45 to go in the game. Hand off to Sanders up the middle. And he'll be brought down at about the 4. And the Jets burn their final timeout. He sends Brevin Jordan in motion. He takes the snap, hands off to Sanders up the middle, and Sanders will get nothing, but the Texans will be able to burn a bunch of clock off now. So what, 39 to 24 with about a minute to go, we bring on Daniel Carlson to try about a 20, 21 yard field goal somewhere around there. And the kick is away and it is good. All right, 52 seconds to go here in the game. It is first and 10. And I think the Jets are probably just gonna be airing this ball out. Jameis takes the snap under pressure, and Malik Morgan's on the chase, and Malik Morgan will get him again back at the 10-yard line. So now the Texans will kneel this out on the last five seconds. The Jets go four and out, and the Texans get out of here with a win and improve their record 
two, five, and 12, and we match last year's record at least. Hopefully, I'm still not gonna get fired. That was a ridiculous performance from our offense, and I don't know where that was all season. Spitzer saving his best performance for last, 22 of 32, 418 yards and three touchdowns. Rushing-wise, Miles Sanders had 15 for 55 and a score. Miles Sanders, five for 40 on receptions and a score. DJ Chark, four for 107. And Brian Tyson, three catches, 158 yards and two touchdowns. He had an absolute day. Passing-wise, Jameis goes 35 of 50, 386 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions. Rushing-wise, Madison, 10 of 24 and Winston 6 of 18, and receiving wise, Julian Chambers burned us for 9 catches, 124 yards, and a score, and then Elijah Moore 6 for 74 and a score. Okay, so for right now, it looks like I dodged the weird thing where if you click a certain scenario, it can turn off your coach firing, because I have it set to CPU only, so hopefully that stays off, but right now it looks like we're good. I was able to simulate to the first week of the playoffs, and I will show you guys the playoff lineups here in just a minute. Malik Morgan got an upgrade, and he gets plus one to acceleration, finesse move, man coverage, pursuit, and tackle. Okay, and here are your NFC playoff seedings. The Dallas Cowboys are the number one seed. The Taylor Heineke-led Tampa Bay Buccaneers are the two seed. The Green Bay Packers are the three seed, who are not being led by Aaron Rodgers either. I'll have to go see who's leading them. The Seattle Seahawks are the four seed. The New York Giants are the five. The Saints are the six, and the Panthers are the seventh seed. Over in the AFC side, the Chiefs are the one seed, the Titans are the two, the three seed are the Bengals, the four seed are the Patriots, five seed are the Raiders, six seed are the Browns, and seventh seed is the Jacksonville Jaguars. Yeah, the Packers are being led by quarterback Jordan Love. So Aaron Rodgers retired, I think, after the 2021 season in this universe. So Jordan Love has been the starter for a couple years, but he's gotten into the playoffs now. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the wrap up to the regular season. In the next video, we will go ahead and look at stats, simulate this, and do the entire offseason. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I will talk to you guys next time.